If you've been struggling to rank your Google My Business profile, this might be a great solution for you. It's a free Chrome extension that we've been using called GMB Everywhere. And what this does, it's going to show you different components of your Google My Business that are missing or that should be adjusted to get more in line with the top ranking um, competitor sites in the maps listings for your specific location. Uh, we found a lot of success with it. It's really easy to use. And once again, it's totally free, which is always a good thing. So how it works, you go to the Chrome, uh, the Chrome store, download it super easy. Then you open it and then you just do a, a normal local search, right? So this is a uh, dentist nearby. And I think this is actually a default search when you open the extension. Um, but you can see this is a great example, right? So here we are, we're in New Zealand and we're looking at some of the different dental practices um, that, are, that are showing near our location, right? Because dent dentist nearby is going to show us dental practices near us. Now what this what this plugin adds for us is it gives us, in my opinion, the most important information it gives us um, is the GMB categories. So GMB categories, when, when you're making your Google My Business profile, the categories are essentially how Google's going to group your business and how it's going to know how to show it in certain search results, right? So if you are, um, let's say you're a dental practice that's a clinic, right? So obviously your top category is going to be probably dental clinic so that when somebody types in dental clinic near me, they're more likely to see your business show up. Um, if you, you know, if you offer emergency dental service, then you're going to want to add this because when people type in emergency dental service, you get the idea. Um, so the nice thing about this extension is it shows us all of the different categories that these different profiles are using, um, in their, in their profile, because you can't, always see that kind of right off the bat um, unless you have access to the profile. Um, so this basically just cuts out the guesswork and it shows us everything in a really clean layout here. So you can just literally scroll through and see. So here's actually a great example of where there might be some uh, deficiencies in certain listings, right? Now it's there's multiple variables at play at any time and we're talking about nearby searches. So a lot of this is just based on where, where our location is. But you can see scrolling through here, you know, this first listing has dental clinic, dentist, emergency dental service, and likely more. Um, dentist, dental clinic, dentist, cosmetic dentist, dent dental clinic. So you can kind of see, we the, again, this search was for dentist. So you can see that Google's looking at this, like, for example, they could be looking at this and saying, well, these guys are using dentist as one of their main categories. So it would make sense for us to rank that a little bit higher. Whereas some of these other ones, like they have cosmetic dentist, maybe that's a more prominent category than dentist, maybe not, but you can kind of look through and, and determine what are your best category options. Um, and then the interesting ones here would be like this one specifically, right? Supreme Dental Concepts. They're using a bunch of different categories and obviously they, you need to offer those services if you're going to use, uh, you know, many different categories, but by doing that, it diversifies their listing so that they're going to show up for many, many different searches beyond just dentist, right? So they'll show up for endodontist, they'll show up for oral surgeon, they'll show up for pediatric dentist. Um, and these are all things you want to keep in mind when you're creating your Google My Business listing. The other thing it does, uh, it does several things here you can see. So um, it has a basic audit feature. So when you click on that, so when we click into the audit area here, uh, you can kind of look around and see, but it's going to basically just display the information that we can find within the map listing itself, but it can be kind of useful. You can click on the different review links and, you know, see, you can segment and kind of see each item uh, individually by itself. I personally like to go into the Google My Business profile and dissect things. Um, so in this particular case, we, you know, again, we looked at the categories for them, right? So the categories were dental clinic, dentist, emergency dental service, and it was confirmed up here as well, right? So I would look through, and um, in, so for this example here, I'd look at their services. So they have a lot of service offerings here um, under, you know, dental clinic is obviously their main category, and they have many services named here. Um, I would be curious to look at their actual website, though, and determine if there's any services maybe they're missing out on um, from a Google My Business standpoint. So this is how you can uh, dissect, you know, a, a, a really add value for a client, I guess, is the way to put it, right? You can go through, like you can see all their services listed here. And these, these generally match with 
uh, the services that were in the map listing that we just had open. But you can go through here and determine, is there anything here that they're not mentioning as a category right here? And maybe there isn't, but there's a good chance there there is something that you could add. Um, so I would go through uh, the Google My Business categories, and there's a lot of different category options, but I would go through and just make sure that they're using every category at their disposal that's relevant to their business, right? And again, you can go through some of these other profiles and see. Like maybe they want to add cosmetic dentist as as a uh, category, right? Because, I mean, they do have some, some services here that are more on the cosmetic side, possibly. Um, Maybe, maybe not, <laughs> but um, you just have to go through and, you know, if, if you know your industry, you, you can use your judgment on that regard. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is mainly about the tool. So really, really nice tool to use. Um, again, it's completely free. You just go to the Google Chrome store to get it. And yeah, we've been using this for several months now, and it's been super helpful. It's been great at uh, finding, ca you know, categories for, uh, for clients that maybe they didn't know existed. Um, as well as just auditing competitors' profiles and, and figuring out um, figuring out kind of what they're doing, reverse engineering that, and you know ultimately doing hopefully a better job on our end. So um, again, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.